If you've considered moving or living in Surrey, BC, surely you have heard of the Newton area. In continuing the best areas to live in Surrey, today we're going to cover the top reasons why Newton is simply perfect for those entering the market, new to Surrey, and anyone who has a lighter budget to find their next home. We're going to jump into the details all about Newton to make sure you're fully informed about whether this might be the next perfect area for you and your family to call home. If that all sounds good, let's jump into it. Hey, it's Darren here. If you're thinking of moving to Surrey, White Rock, or any of the surrounding suburbs, subscribe below so you can be the first to learn about the market and the areas. And like so many others, we've helped in the process of buying or selling a home. If you need help in the process, whether it's today or six months from now, use the link in the description to book a time to speak with me. We'll help you make sure that your move is the absolute best that it could ever be. So let's talk a little bit about Newton generally to give you a little bit of an idea before this neighbor, before we get into the details, because we wanna make sure you know everything Thing you need to know about moving to the area. Firstly, Newton is huge. It is the biggest sub area in the entire city of Surrey and is really separated by two distinct areas, East Newton and West Newton. Now, East Newton and West Newton, well, they also have their own individual locations or neighborhoods within them. And some are more premier like Panorama Ridge where others are still up and coming neighborhoods. For planning purposes, generally speaking, Newton is starting on Scott Road, which is great because that means that the residents of Newton get to share a ton of amenities with the area of North Delta. Scott Road is a huge hub for tons of services for everybody. It extends down to Colebrook Road to the south, 152nd Street to the east, with the northern boundary varying anywhere between 80th Avenue to 88th Avenue. The road that started it all was definitely King George Highway, now named King George Boulevard. In fact, King George Boulevard cuts right through both East and West Newton, directly through the center of Surrey. King George Boulevard being once a highway has remnants of what old highways used to look like. Lots of low rise shops, primarily big sprawling properties, which you're gonna see is changing as time goes on. The remnants of old are starting to be completely gone from the neighborhood and you're starting to see tons of development and tons of commerce enter the area. A fun fact for you is this. What do Vanilla Ice, Kenny Rogers, Headley, Two Live Crew, Biff Naked, Skid Row, Trooper, and many other Vancouver area bands have in common? Well, over the years, they all played at the Newton Inn, which is since gone, but for locals watching this video, this is where the nickname Rootin' Tootin' Newton came from, the Newton Inn. The main downtown of Newton is definitely centered around 72nd Avenue and King George Boulevard. There is a ton coming to this location in this area, which we're gonna touch on a little bit later on in this video, as well as some of the great recreation options like Newton Pond Park, Newton Cultural Center, Recreation Center, and of course the world famous Newton Wave Pool. This area is also centered around a lot of rapid transit, either existing or more to come. But anyway, let's get into the top five reasons why I think you might wanna call Newton your next home and what better way than to jump out and go see it for ourselves. Living in Newton, Surrey means having access to some of the best transportation options in the Lower Mainland. Operated by TransLink, the public transit system here is designed to keep you connected and moving efficiently. One of the key highlights is the R6 Rapid Bus Service. This high frequency limited stop service connects Scott Road SkyTrain Station with the Newton Exchange. This bus service runs every seven and a half minutes during peak hours and every 15 minutes during off peak hours. The Rapid Bus is estimated to be 20% faster thanks to fewer stops making your commute quicker and more convenient. The Newton Exchange Bus Loop is a central hub for many bus routes providing seamless connections throughout Surrey and beyond. Whether you're heading to work, school, or leisure activities, the bus loop ensures you can get where you need to go with ease. And there's even more to look forward to. Announced in November of 2023, a new direct transit service from Surrey City Centre to Newton Exchange will feature a rail-like stations further enhancing connectivity. This upcoming service will provide easy access to the SkyTrain network in all of North Surrey, extending down to White Rock. If you need to commute and do it by car, Newton's location also means having easy access to all major bridges, allowing you to reach other areas of the lower mainland effortlessly. Whether you're crossing the Fraser River or heading towards Vancouver, Richmond, or Delta, the convenient road network makes traveling by car a breeze. With robust public transit options, future transit developments, and excellent road connectivity, Newton offers unparalleled convenience for its residents. Hey, real quick, 
I don't run any ads on my videos, intentionally anyways, and put in about eight hours every week trying to bring you the very best content there is while keeping it somewhat entertaining too. The only ask that I have is that you help me spread the word on my videos so we can help more home buyers and sellers be wildly successful with real estate. Get it right the first time and dodge all the ways that people typically get burned when they buy or sell a home. Now, the only way that we can do that is if you give this video just a simple like to help other people like you find the content. That's the only thing we ask you to do. Don't even worry about subscribing. It will take you about three seconds and it would mean the absolute world to me, but more importantly, it may change the world for someone else. Thanks for clicking the like button and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Let's talk affordability now. And we know the lower mainland is expensive. It is not cheap to own property in the lower mainland. It's not cheap to rent property in the lower mainland. The good news is, however, is, well, Newton kind of has you covered. Now, East Newton and West Newton, they are divided into different areas for the purposes of this video and also for the purposes of keeping statistics on real estate values. But Newton is much cheaper than many areas in most areas of the Lower Mainland, but not only that, it's also cheaper than many other areas of Surrey. So let me put that into a little bit of context for you. The benchmark values of properties, as shown by the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board, gives us an idea of almost what the average price property prices are. And this takes apartments, townhomes, and detached homes, puts them into a blender, and spits out a number for us. The city of Surrey combined had a benchmark value of $1,665,400. If you compare this to East Newton coming in at $1,550,200, this is 7.4% less than the city of Surrey combined. If you're considering West Newton, you're going to love to know that the benchmark value came in at $1,388,000. $400, a whopping 19.2% less than the city of Surrey combined. Clearly, the affordability goes a lot further in the Newton area, and that is just not limited to the sale price or the purchase price of the homes that are selling, but that is also true for rents in Newton as well as commercial properties. The great news as well is because commercial properties are so much cheaper to rent or lease in the city of Surrey, specifically in Newton, this means you're gonna pay a lot less for basic services and groceries in the neighborhood. And with that all being said, what a great segue into talking a little bit more about the location of Newton as a whole. Newton's central location makes it an ideal spot for anyone seeking quick and easy access to all parts of Surrey. Whether you're commuting to work or exploring the city, Newton's central position in the city puts you right in the middle of it all. With one of the standout features in Newton being the incredible variety of businesses, and this is from bustling industrial parks to vibrant commercial centers, Newton hosts a range of enterprises that cater to all needs. You'll find everything here from large retailers and big box stores to charming local shops and essential services. But Newton isn't just about businesses. It's also packed with great amenities, whether you're shopping for groceries, grabbing a coffee, or spending a day at the Newton Pond Park, Newton has you covered. The area is home to an array of big and small stores, recreational facilities, and green spaces, ensuring a high quality of life for its residents. And the best part? Well, Newton specifically is set to see even more growth and development in the coming years, making the location even more desirable. According to the community plan, Core areas around 72nd Avenue and King George Boulevard will feature high density developments with buildings ranging from 21 to 25 stories. Surrounding areas will also see mid-rise developments of four to 20 stories, promising an exciting and dynamic future for Newton. With its central location, diverse business environment, top-notch amenities, and promising future, Newton truly is a fantastic place to call home. Let's talk a little bit now about the diversity of Surrey, but more specifically, specifically the diversity of Newton. By far, Newton, out of all the communities in Surrey, seemingly is the most diverse if you just simply walk along the city streets and see your neighbors out and about doing their daily activities. Now, Newton was estimated to have approximately 158,000 residents in 2023. To give you an example of how significant that is, that's roughly about 26% of Surrey's estimated population as of the same year. Even more staggering is they are projecting to add an additional 40 
35,000 residents by the year 2051. So this means this community is gonna get even more diverse as time moves on. Now, it's a little harder to determine the actual stats for the diversity of what is actually happening in the Newton area. They're not as easily found and I'm not sure how much I trust them. So I'm gonna give you a high level view of Surrey in general and because Newton is responsible for 26% of the population, you can assume that a lot of this proves true to the Newton neighborhood as well. Newton residents have an average household income of $116,600 with 30% of the residents being renters. Surrey boasts an immigrant population of approximately 45% and as of the 2021 census was hosting an unemployment rate of approximately 8.6%. That's pretty incredible, right? That's a 45% immigrant population in the city of Surrey. And as I said earlier, you're not gonna notice this any more than you will in the downtown Newton area where you're gonna see people from all over the world who are now your neighbors. If you're interested in learning more about the full diversity and how Surrey compares, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out this video here where we break it down into full detail. But with that being said, if you are invested in being in a very balanced community with all walks of life being represented, Newton is an incredible place for you to consider. Last on our list, let's talk about safety in Surrey, particularly in Newton. This neighborhood, like many others, has had its challenges in the past. One notable and terrible incident back in 2014 helped amplify Surrey's bad reputation. But a focus on improving the image of Newton and Surrey since has safety significantly improving since then. The current RCMP in Surrey has truly stepped up its game through increased patrols, community engagement, and proactive policing. Safety has become a top priority in not just Newton, but across Surrey as a whole. While rumors and hearsay about Surrey can spread fear, the stats tell a real and different story. Surrey has seen a notable reduction in crime rates thanks to the diligent efforts of the RCMP and community programs. We won't get a ton into detail in our video here today, but for a deeper dive into these statistics, check out the linked video here, which will be in the description as well. Now, before we let you go, I want to hear from you. Locals, what's it like living in Newton? And for those of you considering a move, what do you want to know? Leave your questions in the comments and our community of watchers will be happy to answer. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about Surrey, White Rock and BC real estate, make sure to subscribe. We post regular updates and tips to help you navigate the real estate market. And if you're new to the buying process, you're definitely going to want to check out this video here for a comprehensive guide on everything you need to know about buying your first home anywhere in BC and how to avoid all of the landmines that burn so many first-time home buyers. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers.